Hi, welcome to Fork This. I'm back with another amazing Jello recipe. Um, this was sent to me by Angie Brownworth Hartwell. Thank you for sharing this with me. And it's a classic like church cookbook recipe. And I think the flavor profile here is going to be pretty amazing. Marshmallows and Cool Whip and pineapple both pineapple juice and crushed pineapple but also mayonnaise and shredded cabbage or you know you don't you're not helping come here i mean pineapple and marshmallows and cool whip it says whipped cream but i mean that's usual i'm using cool whip because i'm lazy um that seems like a really reasonable and normal jello dessert um, I am excited, excited about the mayonnaise and shredded cabbage in this. It's going to be another journey, another jello journey. So two cups then shredded cabbage. And I just bought, I bought America's Fresh three color deli coleslaw. So I've got both the green cabbage and the red cabbage and also carrots in here, which I figured would not wreck whatever this is to add carrots. Making a mess, getting cabbage and the pineapple juice, but that's okay. Okay, so there's my two cups of cabbage. And basically now I just make the lime jello and we get to see what this looks like all mixed together. All right, so I've got my lime jello dissolved in one cup water. And then right away we pour in the marshmallows. Yeah, that's looking like a jello salad. The recipe called for a half can of pimientos. I don't I I don't know how much that is. And I buy pimientos in this jar when I buy them at all, which is rarely. So I'm just gonna put in like a couple spoonfuls. I didn't want to skip them because I think the color is just gonna be magical. This is a, a beautiful concoction. Yeah, you can see see so you can see the pieces. I'm fascinated by it. Last but not least, the recipe calls for one cup of mayonnaise. It seems like so much. This is, ugh. Look at it. Look at it. This is unnecessary. Oh, it just, just sits in it. Just sits down in it in a very upsetting way. Now come look at this. This is, this is what we're seeing here. I mean, my God. Yeah, this is wildly upsetting. Okay, so my salad has set up for just a little bit in the fridge. It's definitely starting to thicken. Yeah, but looks interesting at least. And so the last ingredients are a cup of Cool Whip. Hey, you can, can watch. You can't put your face in it. Don't put your face in it. This feels... This feels like a lot of Cool Whip. No, 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 you don't want it. You don't want it, it's not good. All right, let's stir this in. It says for some chopped nuts, cause why not? And I've got some slivered almonds here. All right, here we go. All right, it's time. I've got the Jello salad out of the fridge. It's very creamy looking. It looks really nice. Let's unmold this and see what we have. Okay. Okay. Ready? Here it comes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Ori, are you gonna you gonna watch me? Yeah, you, you stay back. You don't want any of this. Ugh. This is a big bite. Yeah, you can see the cabbage shreds in here. Yeah. Cheers. Ugh. Oh, man, I just still just smells so much like mayonnaise though. Okay. Mmm. 
It's definitely like sweet. I don't know though. The texture, like, it's aggressively creamy, which is not what you want with, with cabbage. This is definitely the worst coleslaw I've ever made. That is for sure. Yeah, and there's just a hint of mayonnaise. It's just like a presence. It's reminding you that the mayonnaise, oh, yeah. The text, why is the texture so, it's definitely worse. The texture's worse with this one. I don't know. It's very smooth and creamy. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. You don't want it. Yeah, see? Fascinating. Yeah. Mm -mm. Definitely bad in a complicated way. I think that's a fun thing with this one. Um, well, yeah, this has been another lovely adventure. So, uh, yeah, I mean, ooh, fork this.